What's up everyone, it's Nick again and for today's video, I'll try to keep it short and snappy. Information coming to you at supersonic speed. Okay, so what you just saw at the intro was ramps and today's topic will be specifically about high speed ramps. Not just your typical 3200MHz, 3600MHz but we are talking about Kingston Fury Renegades 4600MHz ramps. BLAZING SPEED! Kingston Fury is Kingston's new gaming brand that provides the highest performing memory products for gamers and users. The Kingston Fury Renegade is their highest performance RAMs with extreme speeds and low latencies up to 5333 MHz. Then they have their Kingston Fury Beast which is their more mainstream gaming memory with speeds up to 3733 MHz. Kingston Fury also has this so dim RAM made for laptops with speeds up to 3200 MHz. With so many options to choose from, there's definitely a RAM that suits your needs. But before that, just a big caveat. We know that RAMs, there are a lot of things to consider like your cache latency, uh, manual overclocking, compatibility, things like that. But no, we are not here for all those complicated things. We are just here for the simple, fast free stuff. You know, the simple things in life. So we're just going to be talking about RAMs out of their box, you know. Maybe not out of the box. We'll just be talking about RAMs and their XMP or DOCP profiles. I mean, most of us just want a fast free PC using experience right okay with that out of the way are high speed rams a gimmick or does it actually translate to real world gains and an improvement in your user experience let's find out we'll be evaluating the jump between uh, 3200 megahertz rams to 4600 megahertz rams right off the bat you can see that for productivity we actually ran the blender benchmarks you can see from the results here that actually render times are totally not that different the same results hold true for cinebench as well that being said, different applications may scale differently from uh, different hardware upgrades. So for customers that actually come and ask me uh, what kind, what hardware should I upgrade for different applications, right? Uh, it varies. So the best thing to do is always to check on forums or check with uh, veteran users of the application or email their tech support directly. Uh, all of which we can do for you to see if the upgrade uh, is something that you should go for. Also, uh, there are very helpful websites out there like uh, Puget Systems who actually uh, provide a lot of information and a detailed breakdown on what kind of hardware upgrades affect uh, what kind of applications. With productivity aside, uh, what about gaming then? Are there any significant gains? The short answer is yes. There are FPS gains uh, to be seen based on our uh, graphic card or gaming benchmarks and also some real world testing that we did. So you can see here from our results for Time Spy and Superposition, both of the benchmarks actually you see a score increase after changing from 3200MHz RAMs to 4600MHz RAMs. Similarly, for a game benchmark like Final Fantasy XV, you see a score increase as well. So what about actual games, right? Uh, in our test, we actually ran CSGO and also Valorant. You can see that there's uh, about a 10% improvement in average FPS when you change the RAMs from 3200MHz to 4600MHz RAMs. That being said, not all games benefit equally in this upgrade of RAMs. There are some games out there that actually see as little as only 2 FPS gains in the change in RAM. So the best thing that you can do before you head out and buy this upgrade is to first check uh, what kind of improvements you get uh, for your games. Uh, likely, if you do a YouTube search for uh, 3200 MHz RAMs and compared to higher speed RAMs, you will see uh, for different games, it affects the games differently. So search a specific to your game and after that, see whether or not there's a performance uplift before going for the purchase. That will be our recommendation to you. But in general, most games seem to have a FPS increase uh, when you change to higher speed RAMs. Yeah, but as I said, the performance varies. Okay, so with that out of the way, right, how do you actually harness the maximum potential for your RAMs? The simple way, lah. we're talking about XMP and DOCP profiles because as I mentioned, we're here for the fast free experience. Nothing too fancy, manual overclocking takes a lot of time and not all of us want to struggle with like turning off and on the PC and adjusting your voltages and timings by 0.05 or something like that. Okay, so come, let me show you how to do it easily. Okay. So first, you turn on the computer. 
you hold down the delete key, then you enter your BIOS. Most BIOS have this thing called the easy mode. Okay, so for ASUS BIOSes, they have this easy mode. You go in by pressing F7, you will come to something like this page. You can see that for this particular BIOS, they call it DOCP, it's disabled right now. So all you have to do is to come here and enable it. Then done. Yep. So for the current RAMs we have inside this system, is a 3200 MHz RAMs. You save your settings by pressing F10. So they will tell you that you want to keep the settings. Then, okay. Then right now, all you have to do right is you just pray that the PC boots. If it boots right, then it's done. It's just as simple as that. XMP is enabled already. And your RAMs are running at uh, its rated speeds. Okay, so... It boots. Beautiful. Okay, so that's how you can simply enable XMP uh, for your BIOS. Okay, so that's it for today. Do remember to like and share our video. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't, okay? That's it from me. Peace.